You you got Keisha the the Oopski? Yeah, she on her way. Oopski black. I need to see. No, it wasn't a race. It wasn't a race thing. It was more. Of, it was more of like a. Hold on, hold on. You got her the Uber black driver, like I asked for. Like. <laughs> Airport buys breakfast. Buys breakfast. Day one, day one. All right, Mike, do, do you want to introduce our guest today? Hey, man. I know there's a little beep here. Hey, man. I don't want to. I don't want to get in the middle of it. Listen, man, we here. With one of the big reasons why everybody hates my ass. <laughs> Bro, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, man. <laughs> they like, yo, why you they let your sister you. die? They said, why you let your sister die? I'm like, listen, man, what you want me to do? Go die with her? Like, right. come on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but listen, man, we here with my guy, Marcus Callender, man. You know what we're doing, man. It's about to be a crazy episode. Word. It's my guy, man. We had some fire scenes we in did. the past, bro. How you been, bro? What's going oh, on yeah. in your life? How's oh, everything? Oh, man. Yo, I've been pretty good, man. Um, So, you know, the last season of uh, Wu-Tang and American Ooh. Saga, which is the show I'm on now, uh, just fire. premiered. So we just been doing a lot of like press with right, that right. and y'all going crazy. Um, yeah, oh going hell crazy. yeah. How, hell how fun is that show? I, I mean, we know John Allen, TJ. Right, 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 right. No, it's 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 great doing That's that exactly. show. You know, know what I mean? Like I we we got a very we had a very unique set. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> bro, I'm sure you've heard. Bro, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> everyone who comes, I mean, I'm like, damn, I was I was on this set for at least a week, bro. Everyone who <laughs> comes from Wu Tang comes work on this. Mm -hmm. I was like, how how like how is it over there? Like, like, oh, yeah, it's different. It's Wu Tang. That's, right, how, that's, right. how, that's how the like, you could tell like all of that shit translates on the yeah, screen, right? Like, for real, off the screen it like, translates onto. The for screen. real, I mean, but look, it was it was definitely a journey. You know what I'm saying? Like from season one to to season three, mm -hmm. um, you know, season one, you know, we were all meeting each other and getting to know each other. We honestly really grew. Like the Wu-Tang for real. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's because fine. the story behind them is that um, when they first joined together or like when RZA was putting the group together, you know, you got members of the group that they didn't really fuck with each other mm -hmm. like that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because because if you take it back, because, you know, they're from Staten Island. Mm -hmm. And like, if you so you got Park Hill and you got Stapleton. Stapleton yeah. right. Those two projects, you don't fuck with yep, each other. You know what I'm saying? Stapleton. So you already know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so that was a whole thing. And so for us as a cast... You know, we came in season one, and like, you know, you know, we feeling really each other, each other out, right. you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you got nine dudes, yeah. right. <laughs> and we all have our own personalities. We all, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? We're all... Bro, I say that all the time. Is like, people are like, well, why is there so much clashing on set? And like, you think about it. You think about how they write TV. There's, yeah. there's supposed to be conflict. So there's supposed to be like, uh, in, in... Teen terms like there's the jock, there's the nerd. There's always that. Exactly. So they're oh, they're even their personalities. Like you get cast a little bit of what your personality is. Exactly. So they're gonna clash on exactly. set. Like it just mm -hmm. that's the way it works. That's like, how it goes. So season one there was definitely a lot of that going on. Um, season two is when I feel like we really came together in real time as Wu Tang. Um, like we we real. really started like because season two we were all on set at the same time pretty mm -hmm. much all season. Season one it was kind of sporadic where like. Season Season one, all of my scenes were with Shamik. Mm -hmm. So right. all of my experiences were with him for the most part, except for like if we had like cast dinners and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but season two, we were all on set right. at the same time every day. How is he? Shamik? Yeah. Oh, he's Bro, great. He's such a good actor. He is. Yeah. Super he tough. is. Yeah. He he's is. Super I'm really, tough. really proud of him actually um, with his growth right. with the character from season one to, to three. Um, he works really hard. Um, and, you know, he's a cool dude. Funny cat. Very talented. You know, he makes music and shit, Hell, too. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, you know, we came together season two, like, where we really felt like, okay, yeah, we're the Wu-Tang Clan. Like, we're... That's, that's for probably this such a fire feeling, Yo, too. for real. Yeah, yeah. Probably yeah. such you know a fire saying? feeling, bro. So season three, honestly, season three was smooth, like a smooth man. Like... We was cruising season mm -hmm. three. It went yeah. by really bro, fast. I, I kind of feel like that's what it takes 
takes like yeah. you gotta it takes a couple like kind of like how Ghost was. I mean, mm. me and Mike already knew each other and like Alex was right. was in the mix, but um once, everybody like, else was new. So right when the hottest like, came in, to know everybody mm-hmm. like it, it took a little. You know, it didn't take a long, long time, but right. you know, obviously it took a little minute for everybody to get to, used to each other's personalities right. and, and really gel. So and then you figure out their tendencies on set. Right, you, you kind can kind of like do a scene better. Like right. me and Mike, like we we hit our stride in power. Mm-hmm. I think like episode three of power six oh three of power like we hit our stride of like comedy and this and that mm-hmm. so when go like when ghosts happen like it, it happened immediately but yeah. then when the new people come on you're like oh how do they work and you right. kind of figure out how they go like woody he's just like <laughs> he's a strange cat he's like, really great on the show bro the he's way. unbelievable bro, i love woody bro. but he's just like a strange <laughs> cat so like you kind of yeah. figure out like oh he's kind of gonna do this and i'm kind of and then now we're like we're there so right. no that's the be- i mean first of all that's the beauty in, in filming a tv show i love Doing TV shows, man. I love the routine of it. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, like you, you know, you kind of basically become a family. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because right. these are people you see every day, including the crew. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Shout HMU crew, is my man. favile. I love HMU. Yeah, right. 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 They right. get you right. right. They get you going. You <laughs> yeah, know what I'm saying? They got you looking good. <laughs> um, Anita and Aaron, mm-hmm. they worked on season three of Wolf. They did. Yeah. Oh, so shit. that was nice having them on set. Um, and because I had worked with them when I was playing Ray Ray. Yeah. So like it was a nice little reunion. Nice little full circle type exactly. thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 When I remember walking into the trailer like, oh my God. Yeah, you saw it either, right? like, I missed oh, you. Yeah. I know, New York, the New York City filming is like a small community. I love this shit, bro. It it's so small. It like you always going to see a familiar face no matter what you work on in New York. But don't come on our set with any raisin cane in her face. Don't come out with any of that, man. All right, so so let's take it back. Like what was like... The beginning of like I want to be an actor, or maybe there was like some, you know something that happened. What that did was that like, spark? Like what sparked that? Right. Like? Um, so I started acting when I was 16. Uh, I went to school in Brooklyn. I went to telecommunications, arts and technology. It's a long ass name. That is the craziest. I name know. Ever heard. I ain't never even <laughs> heard sure, of that For school. sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. We called it like tele. Tele, tele is what people say. Um, so I went to school. Uh, in Brooklyn, um, I was I was a jock. I was on the basketball team, baseball team. I, I did sports. Um, mm-hmm. So I don't want to say jock. I was an athlete. Um, so I was mostly doing sports. I had a teacher named Miss Barman. Shout out to Miss Barman. Um, she was my English teacher at the time, my junior year. Um, so what she had us do in class, instead of reading novels, we would read plays. And so she had us read a play called The Crucible one day by Arthur Miller. Yep. And, I'm, you know, like, I was also, like, kind of a class clown a little bit. Mm. So, you know, she was like, oh, who wants to read a scene from a play? And I was like, yeah, I, <laughs> right. yeah I'm going to come up and act. <laughs> I'm going to do that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, Bro, so that's I, the same way. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I came up. I did the scene, and it was like a, a, a serious scene, too. It wasn't even, like, a, a comedy thing. I did the scene, but, like, I, like, really connected to it. And, like, after the scene, like, Miss Mama was like, yo, like, you really got something here. Like, you should really go into acting. I was like, nah, acting. Yeah. What? Like, I, I, I play ball. I play ball. Like, what you mean? <laughs> I'm going to the league. Like, come on. Yeah. Like, acting. Yeah. So it just so happened. Nothing is a coincidence. It just so happened that um, they were doing a Raisin in the Sun in my school, and they were having auditions. So she was like, yo, you need to audition for this play. You need to, like, you need to, this needs to be something in your life. So I said, all right, I'm going to go audition, whatever. Right. I auditioned for it. I ended up getting the lead role, Damn, and I've literally fire. been acting ever since. Fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, once, one, like, that feeling of, like, being on stage, just, mm-hmm. it was, it was addictive. Right. You know what I mean? So from there, I went to uh, purchase, I went to purchase, SUNY Purchase, shout out to them. Um, um, I was in their acting conservatory four years, did that. Right. And from there, you know, we uh, we graduated. We did something like a like a showcase kind of. We did one in New York and L.A. Um, that's how I got my representation initially. And, yeah, I've been I've been acting ever since. Shout out to Miss Bowman, man. For real. Shout I mean, but... like a teacher. Mm-hmm. Like, it's always, that, it right. is. Said, exactly. Nah, you need to do I always this give shit. her credit She's for like, that. Nah, nigga, you really, gotta act. <laughs> yeah, no, she really saw that in me. You know, she really did. And, um... Because even, I mean, but also, like, when I think about my childhood and, like, just how I was as a kid, it makes sense that I'm an actor. Right. You know what I mean? I was always, you know, I you know I had imaginary friends and mm-hmm. shit. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, when I was at home, I put on little shows and shit. I remember I had this little this little stool thing that I would, like, you know, put in front of the, the sink to, like, brush my teeth and shit like mm-hmm. that. <laughs> so I used to, like, make that a little stage. You know what I'm right. saying? So it's like, when I think about all the things I was doing as a kid, it's like, oh, yeah, it, 
it was a always given. there. Bro, you know I, I'm saying? almost identical. Like, I was the same shit. I was uh, a hockey player. And then oh, once... You hockey. Right, I played right. hockey. And then there was, like, I was always the class clown. Mm. And then when I went to Couldn't theater tell. class, right. I was trying to be, like, the funny guy. And the, the teacher, Miss Hayes, was like, yeah. Right. And I was like, wait, I'm, I'm not getting kicked out of class. She's like, no, no, do it. Keep going. Wow. She's like, we're watching. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this yeah. is kind of cool. <laughs> so it just kind of like, that's kind of where it started. And it, then it just yeah. snowballs. Like, you, you kind of like connect with it. Like, everyone has that moment where they connect with it. Like, Michael, he got put into it. But like, he, you, what was the moment where you, con- where you felt like, I connect to this. Like, I like doing this. Um, I definitely say my first movie. My first movie when, that I filmed in Italy, in Altro Mondo. And, um... The first, the first thing that was ever told to me before I, like, I did my first take, he said, listen, do whatever you want. There's one thing I'm gonna tell you, just, just don't look in the camera. <laughs> and then like, I did my first few takes and I didn't, and, like, I didn't look in the camera. And I was like, damn, I ain't looking at the camera. Cause like, when I was looking at the camera before we started rolling, I'm like, nah, this is what's about to be recorded to me. I'm like, this shit big as hell. Like, I'm not gonna look at that. How am I not gonna look at this? Right, right. So like, after we did the first few takes and I didn't look at the camera and shit was just going smooth, I was like, okay, this is, Okay, this is cool. So everything else it was just like, you know, everything just started, yeah. you know, piling up. It was just And that was the other thing too, like, um, cause even cause like, okay, so that was my junior year where I did the play and everything, right? And then c- come senior year, I wanted to go to school for for music. Mm. Like I wanted to be an audio engineer. I'm really big on music. I'm a fanatic when it comes to that. So I was trying to look at programs to do that, but I I knew I was like, I, I wanna start acting. I wanna get that into that more. Mm-hmm. Right? I didn't know you can go to school for acting at the time. Right. I didn't even know. I said, you can go to school for that? You can get a, a degree in acting? Mm. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's dope. So, like, once I found that out, I auditioned for it. schools. I honestly, I got into every school I auditioned for, honestly, but That's Purchase huge. was my number one. Like, you know, their their program is really great, even to this day. Um, they call it, they basically call it the 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 budget Juilliard. Right. Because yeah. we had a we had basically the same as um teachers that teach at Juilliard, they were teaching us as well, and NYU grad. Mm. So, you know, it was it was all like a community in that sense. And yeah, man, purchase is where I got the got my my groundings at. That's fire. Yeah. I love that. I love that. So 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 when did you start auditioning and like w- when did the first thing hit? Like Ooh, um man, okay, so Graduated, um, and you know I had my representation, you know, and I had a, I went on a lot of auditions at the time, and you know, shout out to my manager that I had when I first graduated because she taught me a lot about the business. Mm-hmm. I didn't, you know what I mean? Because you know I'm in theater school, we're just learning the craft, the craft, right. the craft, the craft. They didn't really focus too much on the business end of it, right? Kind of like what, like what makes a good headshot, or or like what are they looking for when you go into the room? Because auditioning is different from when you're actually on set mm-hmm. and doing. Oh, it's it's, thousand. it's right. two different things. Yeah. Some people are great at auditioning, right? And then when but they when get they get set, the job, they can't. Like, do yeah, that's yeah, why exactly. I feel like sometimes it's like you know what I'm saying. And then like, some that's terrible in auditions, and then they end up getting a job some way somehow, and then they on set they're like, what? bro, I listen to so many acting podcasts, and most of the like stars that go on there, like chilling, all these guys are like, yeah, I'm terrible at audition. I'm like, well, how are you Wolf of Wall Street? <laughs> like, well, that's true. Right. It's so true because auditioning, auditioning is a completely different muscle yeah, beast. Bro, right. it's, it's, it's you know what I'm saying? It's so weird to me. It's I like, don't know why. The the art of getting the job. Mm. Right. You know what I'm saying? I I really think they're trying to have you come in, mm-hmm. see like your essence kind mm-hmm. of, and if you can somewhat put it together, Basically. and then they go, okay, we can make this work. A lot of the time, they know if they they, 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 they want to hire you before you even open mm-hmm. your mouth. Right. It's something about the way you come into the room. I was yep. just talking earlier about the fact that like sometimes it's always the jobs that I want the most that I don't get. Right. Mm-hmm. It's always mm-hmm. the shit you're you come like, in like, yep. yeah, like I want <laughs> this <laughs> job. <laughs> you really on your shit? Yep. And, you know what I mean? You're real like, mm. you know what I mean? That's not what no. they're looking for. They that's not what they look for. Like, you know what exactly. Mean? It's always the shit. for the personality that's under. Exactly. It's always the shit I, I forgot that I auditioned for. Mm-hmm. Right. And you're like, wait, like, what? Wait, wait, what? When, when did I go in this audition? audition? <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, I'll take <laughs> it. When, they, when we yeah. started. <laughs> all right, okay, all right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, like, even now, I try to, like, psych myself. Like, if it's something I, I like, I try like, to I act like I don't this. want it. <laughs> I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? Wait, what's my line? Uh, hold on. <laughs> yeah. I don't want it, though. Yeah, you're like, it's whatever. Like, if I get it, I get it. But, like, like, it's whatever. I'm you're like, I'm the new Pirates of the Caribbean, Caribbean guy? Nah, nah. <laughs> I don't want that. I'm a 20 million now. <laughs> yeah. 
It's a, what they want me, they come coming in today, 2.30, I'll be there at 3. 3 o'clock, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be there at 3 o'clock. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's, 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 it's really crazy how that works. But, you know, she taught me a lot about how that works. You know what I mean? So I, honestly, I had to get good at auditioning at first. Man, I mm -hmm. was terrible. Um, I knew I was a good actor, but mm -hmm. it was just something about getting in the room and proving that this role is right for you. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I've had crazy situations happen. Um, but I remember my first callback was for an independent film that Spike Lee was producing. Fire. Um, I just was, met Spike the other day. Yeah? Yeah, the next game. It was, um, yeah, it was for like a film that he was producing. The audition was like at NYU or something like that. And it was my first callback. I didn't get the job, but it was, I was just excited that I got a callback. Yeah, call back, right? You know what I mean? It's like, oh shit. Uh, that means you left the mark. Yeah, it's like, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Uh, uh, a callback. Mm -hmm. You right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> and from doing a call, and from that first callback, honestly, that's kind of that kind of gave me a sense of like, okay, all right, I see what's going on here. Now I have a better idea of how to approach the work. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, and that's the thing too. It's like I feel like a lot of folks get it misconstrued. Like, we don't wake up. And a role just magically drops in yeah, our lap. You know no. what I'm saying? It don't happen like that. Yeah, we still audition. It don't, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like Can some of the most shit. famous actors still audition mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, because even if you know that somebody's good, you gotta know if they're right for this for that role. Exact right. role. You know what I'm saying? I need to hear it. I wanna, I wanna hear you speak these lines. Mm -hmm. So um, I mean, now, like, you know, the way I approach auditions is a lot. I'm a lot more relaxed. It's not so like, huh? Right. Um, just just from experience. Um, but yeah, man, like it's 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 definitely um a difference from when you get on set. Because once you get on set, now you can really start to sink your teeth into yeah. it. Now you can really start to like have like, fun with it. it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because then it. exactly, because mm -hmm. I know for me, like as an actor, like once I put on, once I put the uniform on. Oh yeah, it's in there. I'm in there. Once I got the costume on, then I'm it's like, there. oh shit. Okay, you go into HMU, they put the makeup on you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you pull all of that. And it's like, all right, cool, word, word, word. All right, now I know where we going with this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The, it's the issue with Brady and Tariq is sometimes we pull up to set in Montclair's and the Sunnis, <laughs> and then we go on our thing and we oh, got the scene fit. <laughs> We're like, all right, well, I'll be fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. <laughs> be fresh. Nah, yeah, they be, yeah. they be going crazy with the wardrobe yeah. and that shit. But that is that is a fact though. Like once you throw on like. Once you just go through the works, like before even getting to rehearsal, yeah. or getting on the set, like it's just, it's just like getting in that mode. Like right. once you're in that mode, it's like yeah. It's because you don't have to prove anything mm -hmm. anymore. You got the job. Yeah, you got the right. job you know now. This is what I. This is what they pick me for. Right. I'm gonna experiment. I'm gonna try things, whether they like it or not. Exactly. I'm here. They. I'm right. in. Right. I mean, because also too, you know, that's not to get confused. The work never stops. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like if anything, like yeah, you get the job. Now it's more now work. You now work you got to now you got to work harder. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you you get the role, you you know what your lines, you got the script. I like to um, say what's not on the page. What are we giving mm. that's not on the page? I, like I love actors that give what's right. not on the page. Mm, right. I call it the juice. Mm, the I juice. love it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I like actors like that. that. They give you that though. juice. Have you that. ever seen Entourage? Yeah, a I love perfect that show. example of that is mm. Jeremy Piven. Oh, mm. bro. He's Fantastic. so full. Fantastic. Every every little thing, he's like, like he's so mm -hmm. full. And I, I kind of like a little bit embodied that season right. three of Power. I'm like, I want to do season three of Ghost. I was like, I want to do more um, th yeah, things that aren't on the page. Like even mm -hmm. in the background. like Even if, when you're not even saying nothing. Right. You know if if, if like, Tariq and Effie are the most speaking, powerful shit. Right. Exactly. That'd be the most right. powerful shit. Exactly. No, and, and this goes back to that whole saying of like, there's no small role, there's only small actors. Right. That's mm -hmm. a fact. You know what that I'm saying? Because like, you could, you could, the role could be like this. this if the act is big enough, the role right. gonna go from that to this. Exactly. That's a fact. Because the role could be like this, and if the act is not matching up to that role, the role gonna go like this. Because a lot of the time, it'd be like the supporting character or like mm -hmm. that one person in that one scene that's like my favorite actor. Yeah, or like the like, person I remember the it's most. Like, you gotta it's see like, more. Yeah, like, like who's that? Like Lobos. Like Lobos yes. on, yes. on, on, on Power. Yes. He, bro, he, yes. <laughs> he's incredible, yes. but he's yes. very like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was so funny. What's his name? Um, uh, Godfather. Go. Did you ever meet Godfather? Uh, um, with GF. Uh, I'm, I'm sure, I think GF was... Um, Focus Puller. 
folks. Yeah, GF he, was. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was there since day one. GF. Yeah, he he mm. came in and did an episode, and he he calls the gamble list. Uh, like some people hit their marks perfectly, yeah. but but he was always like moving and doing something. <laughs> he's, like, he's like trying to pull his the focus. His marks would be jumping all over right. the place. And right, right, GF right. would be struggling, trying to pull the focus. Yeah. Like, that's a fact. See, because I mean, because I, I, you know, going back to whole, the whole like what's not on the page, like that's the type of stuff you can't direct that. You can't. Right. You know what I mean? Which is why cat. It, I believe. As a director, <clears throat> the biggest job is the casting. Mm -hmm. If you cast correct, your, your, your job your, your job is done. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, just set up the yeah. shot. Just yeah. set, yeah. set, set up the shot and let it roll. Let's yeah. record. Exactly. <laughs> Full action, man. That's yeah, exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That is a um, so, so when did the power audition come in? Ooh. Were you hyped? Were you like, I want, I want to hear it all. Okay, so I before I before I auditioned for I never watched the show. I had friends that watched mm. it all the time. I hadn't watched it yet. So I remember telling people, like, yeah, I'm 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 doing this show called Power. Like you like, on what? power? <laughs> you gonna be on power? And you're like, yeah, yeah. You're like, like, oh shit, it's, 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 it's crazy. <laughs> oh, that's that's my shit. <laughs> so I came in. What I come in? Season three, episode ten. That last episode, Man. I had to stick him up. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Like, yo, get against the wall. Right. <laughs> Top fleece. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? So was that was that the audition scene? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was the audition. It was one of those auditions that I just didn't bounce. Mm -hmm. Like right. I wasn't thinking you didn't about think it. You think about it. And you know what I'm saying? Yep. So did the episode, and afterwards, and like 50s in the episode, mm -hmm. and Anika, uh, Anika Noni Rose was yeah. in it. So I'm like, oh, well, this is cool Two to be bucks. working with them. I was only supposed to do that episode. Right. That was what I was hired to do. So at the end of it. Um, Courtney was on set, mm. and she was like, um, she's like, I'm gonna bring you back next season. You know why? You had, you was adding that juice. I'm you was at that juice. So you I was, was like, that juice. Really? Okay. <laughs> I didn't believe her at first, though. Because you know people say shit right, like right. that. Next thing you know, like my agent nah, called. Nah, gonna keep that word. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she keeps yeah, that she word. Keep that yeah. word. <laughs> Agents calling in like, hey, they're gonna want you for this and this episode. So I'm like, okay, cool. So did that episode, came back the next season. I didn't know I was gonna kill Raina mm -hmm. until the table read. Because, you know, they top they, you, secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At first, yeah, they, they, what? They don't tell you. Nothing. Especially oh. when it's like the beginning of the season and everything, bring you in for the new season. When you read that, what would you say? I was literally, I was at the table read, you know, just highlighting my line. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, Don't she, she was sitting right next to me. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I'm the. <laughs> <laughs> I said, wait, 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 hold on. Oh, I gotta do this. Wait, hold on. What? She said, yeah. Oh. She, she knew. Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? She's mm -hmm. like, right, because if, if you die, they, they always let they you let know. You right. Yeah, they but they, 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 they ain't gonna let the motherfucker that's killing you know. Yeah. <laughs> they not gonna tell oh, you that's killing you. My God. So I'm like, wait, I gotta I'm killing. She said, yeah. And then her mom was there too. She was like, yeah, they ain't gonna like you after that. I said, oh, her mom was in the corner looking at you like, she was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't realize, I didn't, I, I knew it would be big, but I didn't realize like this. Right. Where like How everywhere I go, be, they're right? like, oh man, why you had to kill that girl? We don't like you right away. Right? Yeah. Like, damn. <laughs> Um, it wasn't so, me, man. They made me do it. <laughs> but it was so like it was it was it was. But I was excited because they kind of they basically kind of gave me my character an arc. Right. So yeah. for me, it was kind of like okay, like we we gonna see where we go with this one. I remember uh, uh, Victoria Mahoney directed that episode. Mm -hmm. I really liked working with her because she's super efficient. Um, she knows exactly what she wants yes. when she's on set. She yes. don't she don't lally gag. I love that. She about rehearses that scenes beforehand. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was she was great. Love you know that. what I mean? So I remember doing that episode and uh, working with her. And that was another example of like, yo, like every time I showed up on set, you know, was, I put the, the the costume on and just you know, like another thing I do is like I listen to certain music to right. kind of get me in the mode. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was just kind of like, okay, I'm playing a crooked <laughs> cop. I'm killing left and right. I'm like, what's 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 going on here? And so what'd you put on? What's the song? What's the song? <laughs> I want to know. Now to I some, need to know. I don't remember. Probably some DMX yeah, shit. Probably. Some crazy well, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like some crazy shit like that. So, but I remember, um, I remember, so I, 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 I personally believe, like my philosophy when it comes to acting is that, um, Acting is living truthfully under imaginary circumstances, I do right? Th I love that. I that say is all my shit. Right. That, that is my shit. Right. Because um, so, most people think it's 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 lying. Yeah. People no. are like, oh, you're a good liar. You're good. No, it's actually the opposite. It's finding out what's the truth. Exactly. Of what's happening right here with with the lines, the fake of the page. Exactly. So for me, it was kind of like okay. Um, 
what's my version? What's Marcus's version of doing like this? Mm -hmm. Where this is my circumstance, this is what I'm going through, this is my goal, this is my agenda. So what's Marcus's version of that? So basically, Ray Ray is what you is is my version if I were to be out here doing it like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. On top of like <laughs> That's you know, a great way to look at a character too. Like, yo, what would be my version of this person? Yeah. Right. Yo, I like that. Exactly. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's fire. I like because that. Because yeah. when you do it like that, it makes the work specific. Cause mm -hmm. there's only one you. There's yeah. no other you. And it's you know real. It's real. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's real. Like, I'll, I'll give you an example. I know somebody who, whenever she's sad, her initial response is to laugh mm. before she cries. Right. She always <clears throat>, laughs before she cries. That's so specific mm -hmm. and a, 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 a very, like, interesting detail. Right, it's very neat. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Hell yeah. Like, you know, imagine doing a scene and it's supposed to be sad, but the character busts out laughing before the tears. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. That's gonna be like, Shit. that draws people in. You know what I mean? As opposed to like, what's the general, what's a general sad reaction? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? General is boring. Yeah, agree. You know what I mean? Yep. There's nothing. There's nothing more interesting than yourself. Than and that you. won't get you the job. And that won't get fact. you the job. Because a lot of times people go into the room and they're like, "What do they want to see?" So everyone's coming and doing what they want to see. see. The right. person that books it is usually doing what they exactly. want to do. So it's different. It's specific. There's like, you know, mm -hmm. it, it's fleshed out instead of just being like, "Oh, cool, I'm the football player." Like, "Hey, what, what up, dude?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you got to make it specific. Exactly. Exactly. And and that's yeah. why a lot of those character actors book so much because they're just like, no, I'm committing to like what right. I, I want to do it. And have fun, right? Man. Gotta have fun. You gotta have fun. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like playing Ray Ray, believe it or not, was fun as shit. Yeah. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? What? Like, right. Playing a piece of shit is fun as hell. I can <laughs> I can speak on that. <laughs> it's even, fun, bro. Even, even the scene we had where you kill me. Mm -hmm. When did you first meet Michael? I met Michael. I mean, technically, I, met, I probably met you at the table read. Yeah, at the yeah, table read, yeah. At the season four table read? No, it yeah, was no, no, season, season three. Season, episode season, 10. Yeah, oh, three times. So you met him at the three times table right. read. Mm -hmm. And then when was your first scene with him? That day, that, yeah. that episode. Yeah, like so few days after that, probably. Literally, my first, the first person I worked with was Michael yeah. Brown. Because the that's when his character was trying to trying be to a be little bad guy. Starting to move drugs, all so crazy. my character comes and sticks him up, <laughs> right? you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we take him in, and but he didn't know that I'm working with 50 mm -hmm. and Jukebox. Right. Yeah. So that's that's how that all You know what's started. so funny about that? Where we in the car, he's like, yeah, Todd Fleece. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I need to hear this. Yo, bro, I'm yeah, telling you, my, bro, that. my cousin Cam, to this day, he calls me that name. He's like, he be like, <laughs> Top Fleece. But like, yo, when we be like arguing, yeah. like we be disagreeing on some shit, he be like, you so Top Fleece Please ass that. nigga, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that shit be having me crying, bro. I'm like, yo, oh, yo, bro, that That's shit is the fuck. Top Fleece. <laughs> Was that an improv or? Yeah. No, <laughs> I remember, so we did that scene. And Corny, like, we we did it scripted, and then Corny was like, yo, do, do your thing. Do like, yours. Yo. Right. Right. I said, oh, and she's okay. so great with that because <laughs> yeah. she lets people, like, do, you know, but she also is very specific on what she wants. So mm -hmm. there's such a good balance that she does with that. And absolutely. And it's 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 a great collaboration right. on that show. Oh. Um, so, like, yeah, she was like, yo, do your thing. And I was, I called him Ty Fleece. I was just looking at him, you know, <laughs> That's just, it, trying man. to come up with the most insulting shit yeah. I could think of, you know what I mean? Right. But it was fun. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? And we had a good time. Nah, that shit was super so, lit. So when did you uh, get killed off of power? It was the end of four? It was the end of four. I want to say like episode 10 or four, four, I think 10? it was, yeah, like four nine or nine 10. Nine yeah, nine. I think, yeah, I think it was that, yeah, that season. So so what was the, when you saw that you were dying? I want, Now I want to know. I got the call. Right, yeah, I the got call. the call. Did you, did you feel it coming anyways? Because honestly, it, I could have stayed alive. Right. Like, they could have extended it if they wanted to. Um, but I knew, like, I could also get clipped, too. I just killed the main character's daughter. Right, 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 right. Oh, right. Like, yeah. yeah. That's a dangerous... That's, 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 a dangerous. that's a dangerous thing right there. <laughs> you know what I'm Like, that's a dangerous thing that's right there. Order to be. And you know what's crazy? Omari didn't say a word to me until I rapped. Really? Until I was done playing Ray. <laughs> wow, he was mad That's with when it. he yes. yeah. Damn, he was. He a didn't say with nothing you. <laughs> to me. Nothing at the table read. Nothing on set. Nothing until I rapped the That's show. That's crazy. Damn. When I was done, I was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? That's when he's like, yo, man, yeah, great work. Yeah. <laughs> yo, that <laughs> you is ain't great. never said nothing to me <laughs> this whole time. I've been working. You ain't saying you know, shit. I, 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 I guess been since last season. Right? Right? Exactly. Um, so yeah, he was definitely method with it. He's like, I don't. Right. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. 
That's crazy. Yeah. So who called you? Courtney called you? Courtney called me. Yeah. Um, I remember I was at my crib. And she was like, yeah, uh, so, yeah, Ray Ray's going to have to go. <laughs> I said, I, I understand. Usually I understand. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. It was like, OK, I understand. But they they let me go with a bang, man. Yeah. I really, like, that. That, that scene was fire. You're, that's your first, your yeah, that first, was my first kill. kill. And it was fire because nobody knew if I did it or yeah. anyone else did it. It was fire right. that nobody knew if, if, if nobody knew if you pulled the trigger on yeah. me or I pulled the trigger on you until Ghost and Tommy and them came upstairs and seen everything unfold. That's crazy. That was a fun scene. That shit was too. fun as hell. That was a fun that scene. That was mad as hell. fun. I ain't gonna lie. That was, did that was did they bring you the flowers at, at the at the end of at the end of the day? I ain't got no damn flowers. <laughs> bring the flowers. What flowers? <laughs> Probably because you were such a crooked <laughs> cop. <laughs> 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 you were like that. Like, nah, you crooked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the funeral flowers they bring them. Like I ain't getting no damn, damn flowers. Damn, we gotta get some flowers. <laughs> <laughs> so so it airs. Uh huh. Do you feel like your life changes? Like yo, like, let me tell you something. I was in L. A. I was in L. A. Cause um, I was I was about to move out there, so I was in LA just kind of like taking meetings, just kind of getting myself established out there. So literally the weekend I flew back to New York was when the episode came out, mm. and I remember uh, <laughs> that's when the episode came out, and and like I wasn't like really heavy on social media like that at the time, so I'm like looking at stuff and I'm just seeing like yo what yo who the f is Ray Ray yo this nigga yo 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 and. <laughs> Being on the train, being mm -hmm. in public, people be like, yo, you look like the nigga that fucking, yo, so why you kill that little girl? <laughs> my homie right there. Like, that's that's yo. one of my really good homies. Mm -hmm. That's how we met. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That, like, that's we was very like, crazy, bro. We was, I was on the train. I was with my girlfriend at the time, and he knew her. So he was like saying what up to her. I was literally sitting there like this. Because mm -hmm. I was like, if I look up, this nigga going to And he says me. <laughs> so I, he, he was like, oh, what's up, man? I said, what's, what's up, man? He's like, wait a second. Ah. Are you the dude? You know what I'm saying? So you like, it, yeah, man, that's it, me. It, man. It, right, exactly. Yep, it's me. Yeah, it's yeah. me. Yeah, so shit you know kind of mad funny last night, bro. It's so funny, bro. I literally had a moment like that. I was like, yeah, it's me. I'm on the way back from the city, right? And like my GPS is tweaking. So I'm at the light. It's a red light, but it's telling me to make a left. So the light turns green, but the left turn and light is still red. But I didn't peep it was a left turn and like light. It had to filter like the little arrow light. Yeah. So as the light turns green, I make the left. And then I look up, I'm like, oh shit, that shit was red. Then I look at <laughs> my side view mirror, I see a state trooper. Oh shit. I say, shit. oh shit. Oh so shit. So I said, fuck, I'm gonna pull over, uh -huh. pull over, roll my window down. Did he put the lights on? Nah, he, he just said, whoop, whoop. Just, <laughs> just like, so I pull over. Yeah. Pulled over, to, uh, rolled my window down. He just pulled up next to me. He said, yo, you see the, the arrow light? I said, I ain't gonna lie, bro. My GPS just confused the fuck out of me. Like, I ain't going to lie. Like, I, I, I didn't see it until I made the turn. I didn't see the average until I made the turn. He said, he said, hold on. He said, wait, you look mad for me. Oh, I said, I'm like. In any other situation, <laughs> they're usually like, nah, that's not me. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's me. You seen Pirates? Oh, you you seen familiar. Barbershop? You seen Akuna <laughs> Under the Mundo? It's an Italian movie that was full of Italian. You're trying to get out of that ticket. Yeah, bro. He's like, he's like you look familiar. He said, he said, power, right? I'm like. Yeah, they got me. <laughs> he said, "Listen, man, look. If you see an arrow, just, just take your time." I said, All right, "I got you." He said, "Just, just, just be safe." I said, <laughs> "Shout out to Tariq, man." Bro, <laughs> well, have a suspended get, license today. If I get pulled over by a cop, I'm naming my credits. I'm like, I also auditioned for Spider Man. I mean, I didn't get it, but like, I auditioned. Like, I'm get trying to get out of that ticket. I'm like, man. the crew has a podcast. It's number one. Man, I looked at my side view mirror. I seen that blue and yellow NYPD. I said, "Damn, it's yeah. a trooper too. It ain't even the blue right. and white. Some trooper state troopers don't play." Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, if I had the same type of, it, it's just like, yep, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's hilarious. That should be crazy. What was your first scene with 50? Do you remember meeting 50 and thinking that was crazy? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, technically the first time I met 50 was in HMU. He was in, he was getting like his makeup done and he was playing Michael Jackson. I remember that. <laughs> and I remember thinking like, oh, but old school Michael. Mm -hmm. right. And I'm like, okay, like you listen to this. He's like, yeah, like this is, this I, I, I love listening to this. Um, but like at the time, I was starstruck. At, mm -hmm. that, at that moment. Because <laughs> for me, it was like, yo, I'm meeting 50 Cent. I grew up on his music. Brooklyn, like, get, ri right. get rich or die trying is my shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So right. it's like, to be working with him was wild crazy. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? But he was really cool. You know, I took a picture with him. Mm -hmm. um, and then once we got on set, 
It was really good. Like, I don't know if a lot of people know, but like 50's mad cool to work with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's a jokester. He cracks jokes all the time. Oh, he's also like super professional. Mm. And yeah, he's really great to it's work like with. It's like the perfect balance between like yeah. bringing the jokes and then being like, yo, we got to get this done. Exactly. Right? Perfect balance. Yes. And he also knows like his weight as like, uh, you know, he knows he's 50. Right. So some people... Mm, would come on set the wrong way like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He comes on set as a leader, yes. trying to make everyone have a good day, but also like, you know, Yo, stay I'm, on y'all I'm shit. 50. So, right, right. Shit. Make sure <laughs> y'all on your jobs right, while I'm right, here. Right, right. Y'all can slack over for right. boom, but while I'm right, here, yeah. y'all gonna do your exactly. shit. Exactly. Well, yeah, well, so, well. I mean, that, I think that's just what makes him, him. you yeah, know? Exactly. He, he came to visit us on set a couple weeks ago, like, just just kicked it. And it wasn't even like a fun scene. Like, it was just like a quick, like, we were looking, we were doing some, some shit. And 50 came and sat there for like six hours, just mm -hmm. sat there oh, and word. kicked it with yeah. us. We would go do it. Change set up, we go sit and talk to him for like an hour. Like, that's just like the kind yeah. of dude he is. So he's really cool. Yeah. Damn, damn, that's fucking crazy. Michael bro. Jackson in the in the interview. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I gotta get turned up in the interview. Word. We got some fan questions for you. Okay. Um, I love the fan questions. These about to be crazy. Bro, I already the fan know. Questions, I already honestly, know. it was mostly like fuck Ray Ray. I was like, <laughs> I, was like I had to keep damn. scrolling. There was like mad fuck Ray Ray. And there was one like, um, how did he, where did he grow up? And I was like, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so. First fan question we have from um, Nisha, Nisha, um, K-N-E-E-S-H-A-H. -E -E I wasn't, like, pronouncing anything wrong. Um, <laughs> and this was a good one, had nothing to do with power, but what's the biggest thing you've learned throughout your career? Wow. I That's actually wanted to know because, because you got mad insights. So I was like, yeah, oh, I love that question because there's so much to learn. That is the question. Pinpoint oh. the first thing that's coming to you. Okay. What's for you is for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially as an actor. So yes. for all the people that's acting, that's auditioning right now, and, you know, the last few, you didn't book them or whatever the case may be, it's because it wasn't for yeah. you. Mm -hmm. When that when that job for you lands in your lap, you're going to know it's for you. Oh, you're going to know. You're going to know for you, sure. You'll <laughs> definitely know. Yeah, right. for sure. If it's for you, it's for you. If it ain't, it ain't. Yeah, I don't you think, I don't think I, Tariq was for anyone else. I've <laughs> 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 been doing it for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, though, like, every, like, role that is, like, you know, that's given to someone, mm -hmm. I feel like... There could have been no other person that could play Raven exactly. how you play Raven. Right. Right. There could be nobody that could play Raven how you play Raven. Right. So it's just like, what's for you is gonna be for you. Right. It's also a testament, like why they brought you back. Mm -hmm. Right. Like they yeah. brought you back because Cause like the juice. whole story could be different. The whole juice. Re exactly. As I said, I thought I was just put, doing you, that one episode. Right. You could have not it. put uh, uh, Don Shea out of a job. Like there's like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like there's, yeah. a, there's a lot that could have been different. <laughs> exactly. You know. Well, um, but dude, I love that. I love yeah. that. Um, all right, Mike. It's only fitting that you ask this question. <laughs> 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 All right, Morgan with three A's. She says, Where would Ray Ray be if he didn't die? Mad A's, right? <laughs> she said, Where would Ray Ray be if he didn't die? Oh, wow. That's a good question. That's a yeah, great a question. Because he well, could be doing a whole lot. If you remember in that episode, when I do die, I would, that whole episode was me trying to get the fuck out of town. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew, like, I was mm -hmm. like, oh, shit, I done killed Ghost's daughter. Mm -hmm. I gotta go. Yeah. Right. I, I gotta, gotta, gotta skip go. town. Right. Um, gotta skip he, states. He would be, he'd be in way. a whole nother state. He probably would have changed his identity a mm -hmm. little bit. Um, remember, he was a police officer, so I'm, I'm, I'm sure he had some ways. He just had to get out of town. Right. Yeah. And I ain't make it. Yeah. yeah. All he had to do was get a few hours away. Right. Exactly. Probably would have ended up in Chicago or some <laughs> shit. Well, good Tommy. Right. right. <laughs> right. <laughs> For real. Um, uh, Antoinette said, Marcus, is there anything you would change? Uh, you would have changed about Ray Ray? If so, what? Maybe not specifically like what you what you did, but like mm. if you could have written the show, like. Um, what would I have changed about Ray Ray? Uh... I can't. I can't think of nothing. I think it was. It was great how it was. I was about to CK say, writes them good. You know, I was about to say like he ain't nothing. Like he right. I know he fucked with that character. I'm like was, he wouldn't yeah. have changed nothing about Ray. Right. Mm -hmm. He had fun playing Ray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super. Had, had and, fun playing. Ray. And I'm also curious about curious about uh, this. Uh, Damn, answer. what's with all these A's? She got like seven A's <laughs> in this one. Her name Kira with s literally seven A's. Nice. <laughs> she said. Kira. She said, "What's um?" She said, "What's your dream role?" Wow. If you could write um, your own role for yourself, what would it be? Like a dream, dream role. My or dream role. Else writing um, uh, I'm a, I'm gonna take it to the theater. Um, I'm, I'm, that's, that's how I started acting. I, I learned in the theater. That's another thing I, I highly suggest, getting involved with the theater, because in my opinion, that's where you learn the foundation. That's mm -hmm. really where you, you, you get your chops at. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, uh, my dream role, uh, there's a play called, uh, it's two plays. 
One play is called um, Zoo Man and the Sign, mm -hmm. written by Charles Fuller. I want to play Zoo Man. Um, that's just been one of my favorite uh, plays slash characters since I've been acting. Um, so that's something that I'm, I'm honestly too old to play it now. <laughs> uh, but, you know, black don't crack. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, um, I'm, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one I could play, which I could literally play right now, today, is uh, I want to uh, do piano lesson and I want to play Boy Willie. Fire, um, nice. They just did that on Broadway. But they could do it again. Yeah, they don't cool. even hey, gotta man. be on Did you Broadway. read for it? Or? No, not even. I have a, there's a story. I've done that play before. That's, right. that's a whole story. That's a, that's a whole story. <laughs> right. But I've done that play before. I'm very familiar with the role. I actually have a tattoo on my leg of a piano, and under it it says, Boy Willie was here, which is a line from the oh, that's play. that's fire. Damn. Um, that's fire. I mean, you, but I need... We're putting it out there. You're yes. doing that shit on Broadway. Yo. Also, too, they. I, I know that they're, they're going to make a movie out of it at oh, some point. Yeah. I need a read for that. Yeah. Yeah, I see him. Yeah. Yeah, I see him. Tell your team if you <laughs> yes. ever yeah, I see him. Definitely got to read Bro, I feel that. like such a sellout. He's like, dude, I want to go on Broadway. I want to do these mad. I'm like, I just want Batman. <laughs> I want a big check. <laughs> International. Like, damn it. Nah, that's a fact. I mean, the, that theater stuff, that's really where you, you know, you. I feel like that's some, That's a great place to gain confidence in Absolutely. yourself. Absolutely. Yeah. Like that's like something. Patina, like she was doing Into the Woods mm -hmm. while she was shooting Kanan. That's insane, bro. Right. I'm gonna say that every you time. You wanna know a fun fact? Every time. I'm I would say love that. about Patina. If it's about Patina, it's I about hear Patina. It. <laughs> well, she's involved in it. Um, so fun fact, um, before like I really started like um working as an actor like regularly, before I was able to quit my side jobs, uh, I was working, I used to work um so when you go to a Broadway show, there's these people with these boxes and they sell like water, right, right, right. Uh, Twizzlers, you know, candy and shit. That was me. I was, I was one of those guys. Wow. And my first, the first show that I did was a play called Pippin. Yeah, Pippin. She won a, uh, a Tony, Tony for that. Tony for that, yeah. She was, she was doing Pippin while I was selling Damn. water and candy. Bro, <laughs> that, that is some shit. Fuck. She was great in <laughs> that it, was by the way. Too. That is Ain't insane. Way before power, like way before power. That is Ain't insane. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> yeah, the dude. Full circle there? It's you, crazy. Bro, I love that full circle <laughs> moment. That's I love fucking that. insane, yeah. bro. Yes, full circle moments always like give me the chills. Like, right. that's insane. I literally posted a TikTok yesterday um, of a uh, like a full Full circle moment kind of thing. It was uh, uh, I was wearing a G unit shirt. I was eight. It was, wow. it was a picture of me like wearing a G unit shirt. I literally eight eight years old. Like got on like a sideways hat and I'm just like sitting there like mean mugging the camera. And I was like POV. Uh, you're 10 years old and you're wearing um, a, uh, your favorite rapper's T-shirt. Oh, wow. And then it was like 15 years later, it was 50 bringing me out on stage in wow. Houston. <laughs> like, that's like, insane. This is crazy. Like, it insane. just makes you realize, like, what's for you is, is for, for you. you. Right. That's a fact. Listen, right. man, any up-and-coming artist, actor, writer, whatever the case may be, just keep that with you. If it's for you, it's going to be for you. Absolutely. Yeah. It's going to be Absolutely. for you. Absolutely. 100%. Ha have, you, have you done Broadway or, or...? No, I haven't done Broadway. I've done a play um, off-Broadway. I did a play at the Signature theater which is a um, it's an off Broadway theater but it, it, it's pretty prestigious in terms of um, the type of work that they do there um, I was actually doing that play while I was auditioning for Wu Tang nice. I was it, I was doing that simultaneously like even when I did my screen test I literally had to fly to LA for 24 hours and fly back so I could make the show damn so it was it was that a lot going insane. on at the time and it was another example where I knew that I, I knew I had the role mm. When, um, so I, I did the initial audition, um, then I, was, I wasn't thinking about it. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking about it. I Stop wanted thinking, the, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted the role. Don't get it twisted. Right. I wanted the role. But you was doing a whole But I was doing shit. a whole play. So mm -hmm. I didn't have time to be wondering if I had the part or not. Was I was, I was on concerned on, on what I had going on, current. So I did the audition, got a call back, did the call back, and I remember... I did the call back and I went to my homie's house. I went to his house. And as soon as I got to his house, it was literally 45 minutes later, mm -hmm. my agent calls me like, yo, they want to test you. And I knew that. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm you got it. it. I'm in there. Because it was, it was I'm in there. I never had a, right. a turnaround that fast. I was like, yo, I just left the joint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. They're, They're like, like, yeah, get his they ass back here. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, we need him. So need him now. When I did the when I did that, so 
they wanted to screen test me. So my first question was, well, how's that going to work? I'm on a, I'm in a show. We got eight shows a week. Right. We only have Mondays off. So how, how are they going to make that Sheesh. work? And I think, I That's honestly work. think that they scheduled it to make sure that I could be there. That's right. fine. That's another reason That's fine, how yeah. you know it's for you, for That's you. Fine. Right? You know what I'm saying? So I literally, I had, I remember I had That's two God shows. Right. right. That's God. Right. It was a Sunday. I had two shows that day, a matinee and a night show. Did that from the night show, flew on a plane, got to L.A., did the screen test in the morning, flew back to New York that night, came back to New York, and I remember the screen, even in the screen test, it was, I was so relaxed, mm -hmm. I, you know what I mean? Like, I got there, did it, and left. I didn't, mm -hmm. it was like, oh, let me right. make sure, oh, you right. know what I'm saying? I literally showed up, did it, and bounced. You know what Fine. I'm saying? My, my manager, coach, was like, how do you feel? I said, yo, I feel pretty good. I'm not mm -hmm. even stressing about yeah, it. Yeah. Like, it felt good. You got through it. You know what I'm saying? If I get it, if I get it, if I don't, I don't. Lo and behold, I got it. And I, I remember <laughs> I was... I was on like 50-something street at 8th Avenue. I was at T-Mobile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> paying my phone bill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm at T-Mobile paying my phone bill and shit. And, my, and that's when I got the call. And I remember like screaming at the top yeah. of my lungs in the store. No, on the street, actually, <laughs> yeah. when I got the role, man. Yeah, no. That's was, like, was, yes! Yeah, yeah but it was like that whole... I, but I you also remember thinking in. like, that in, yo, man. like... That whole, this entire process was so smooth. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> it was so smooth. Why is it always this easy? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Exactly. Because right. it's always it, it's always that shit. Like, no, I, I, right. I want to get this. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. And you do an extra, and da, 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 mm -hmm. you don't get that shit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I've been close on stuff that I really want, but I it's always the other guy. You know what I'm saying? But it's this okay. one, it was so smooth. Like, there was nothing that got in the way of everything. Everything was just working out the way it was supposed to work out. Everything was just falling right into place. You yeah. Did you chemistry with Shamik or? Nah, it was just nah. you? Nah, it was just me. I was reading with the casting director. The cast Rizzo was there. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, it was who, just, who, is, who cast that? Kim Coleman. Oh, not, oh great. Yeah. yeah, she's awesome. Yep, Fire. yep, yep. Dude, yep. that is fucking awesome. He did so, all that while he was on the play. Right. Yeah. While and I'm I, doing I, the play. I want to say, anybody that's doing the play, whether it's Broadway, non-Broadway, wherever that play is, I take my hats off to y'all because... That's a whole different type of world it to is. step in, bro. It so is. I take my hat off to anyone that's 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 on the theater on the theater wave. Bro, Words. That's a different type of talent right there. Yeah, that's I miss different. the stage too, actually. That's different. You're gonna, you're gonna get back to it. Oh, so, I'm definitely so right gonna, now, you gotta be on Broadway soon. Don't even worry. What? Yeah. Yeah. Forget Word. it. Yeah, I mean, come on, like, you got the tattoo. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, so so we putting uh, that out there. Wu Tang's airing right now. Yes. It's the final season of season three. Yes. Yes. Um, what episodes are right now? Two? Episode right one? Right now or? we're on episode uh, five. five. Oh, episode premiere. five. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So it's on Hulu. Mm -hmm. You can go watch that on Hulu. If you haven't watched a show, Check go it out. Listen, watch man. it. It's fire. Yes. Legendary shit right there. Yeah. Wu Tang, man. That's yeah, you fire. got Wu Tang Clan, you know, which is arguably the greatest hip hop group of all time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it's literally, the show is literally about how the Wu Tang came together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's gonna be insane. Yeah, I right. love it. I, I, I mean, I think that you know, <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I love that. Shit. And I see on the screen, and then I see y'all in person. I'm like, yup. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yo, because yeah, like, when we out, like yeah. exactly, when we out, we move like that. Literally, you know what I'm saying? Bro, like, yo, when, we we, in, when we was in Double House, I'm like, nah, these yeah. niggas look like this. We pulled like, up. We pulled up. TJ's pulling up. TJ's pulling up. TJ's my guy. Yo, TJ's funny, son. Yo, that's a character right there, boy. Yeah. Dude, I looked at his uh, IMDb the other day. He played like a corner boy in power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he did. was in power. Yeah, he was in he power did. real quick. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he was. For real. I definitely forgot about that. He definitely was So we could get him on the show? <laughs> yeah, man. Yo, TJ, man, pull up, man. We do next, Yo, man. for real. Thank you so much for pulling up, Marcus. We appreciate Absolutely. it. Is there anything you want to plug? Your Instagram, um, all that stuff? Yeah, my Instagram is at Distant Loving. Uh, it's a play on, uh, I'm a big Marvin Gaye fan, so it's a play on the song Distant Lover. Um, so at Distant Lover is the same thing on Twitter, too. It's also tattooed on his back as well. He's got that. <laughs> <laughs> Word. <laughs> Mike? Um, Michael Rainey Jr. on Instagram. Michael Rainey Jr. on Twitter. Where's 22 on Instagram. TikTok. I can go get up with me wherever y'all feel. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm everywhere. Yeah. Gianni V. Paolo on Instagram. I'm not on Twitter because I don't want to get canceled. Uh, <laughs> and TikTok, baby. And also, Mike, what do we got coming out next listen, week? Listen, baby, listen, baby. St. Patrick's Day is very close. St. Patrick's Day is very close. So that means the Ghost Boys is back on the air. Okay. 
Long awaited, bro. This very is long awaited, like, it's bro. Been it's been like a year. And, yeah, it's been a year and some change. Y'all could finally stop asking me to drop it because I have no control over when they release these seasons He's and these episodes. Liar. Michael clicks a button. They're up, they're up on stars. I wish it was like that. I would have been pressing now the way y'all been pressing me for this. But um, yes, man. Next week, St. Patrick's Day, we back on the air. The Ghost Boys is back. Power Season three gonna be crazy. Two Ghost. Season Word. three is back, crazy. baby. Next week. Tune in, baby. Tune in, man. Marcus Calendar was in the building. Word. Appreciate you coming by. Man. Thank, Thank you, Marcus. Appreciate yes, you coming by. Boy, yes, Word. sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, bro. Thank you for pulling up. I appreciate it. This is five episodes. Yeah.